All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video I'm going to do is the third video today. And I even have a feeling that it was some other stuff that was thrown, very, very sensitive stuff to me, that was thrown today on a table to me to bite so that I would not record uh, this very video. I got a feeling that there was some stuff done, very sensitive stuff to it, which I was doing some other stuff today. I wasn't, I wasn't into these videos, but I said before I go sleep, before I do that, I'm just going to do this stuff to make few things clear about it. And in particular, I'm talking about this video here that you see here about the new Slovenian president. That was very, very sensitive issue to me because it was a torture since 1995. It's the new presidency, a new Slovenian president commenced, a female president, first female president of Slovenia commenced after the departure of Milan Kuchan is Borut Pahor. Uh, very, very sadistic stuff, accident, how we have to love Slovenia, our Slovenia. Uh, we have to love and guard Slovenia because it's ours. And this was the stuff that was accented to me by this woman since 1995 during most torturers MK Ultra procedures, police procedures. Police was the one that enforced the torture. The second use, I think they used to hide the news I'm going to be talking about right now as the next is about Jenna Hager Bush. Jenna Hager Bush never liked me really. She always hated me. This is not a news. Uh, this was an individual who was the first one on the picture to hate me. Of all the people involved in MK Ultra, Illuminatis, in American side, um, this probably was the first individual that had a lot, a lot of problems with me. Uh, and look at that. She came up with some extraordinary stuff I couldn't afford myself to ignore. Not a good stuff. Anyhow, uh, did a little dance through which she indicated me I am a walking dead person. I'm dead. No other than dead. That's all the rest of it. Really, really not a nice wish. Uh, her father eventually became United States of America president. Her father. I didn't say her grandfather. Her grandfather was way more qualified than her father. Her father, however, did not have absolutely any credentials to become American president. But because of my involvement, because of his involvement in my case, MK Ultra case, and because of my pioneering George Bush is the future president of the United States of America. The presidency literally went into his hands from Bill, Clinton, uh, from Bill Clinton. Now this issue I'm about to talk to you about does concerns Putin. And I'm not surprised about this stuff at all. Because these two were inseparable. It was really like a shirt and pants. Uh, they were reaching out in the ass to one another. I don't know what else I would say. This picture is worth meaning of words to me. When tortured in the United States of America in front of Vladimir Putin by what should be otherwise my president who left me for dead for the man you see right there. However, in this news, I'm going to be talking to you about Serbia, the one and only ally of Russia. Serbia had a problem in Kosovo, I read about today. Another problem in Kosovo, what's going on? Putin and his friend Serbia warns of war amid tensions with Kosovo. What the fuck is going on? There is something going on with the license plates 
that Serbs, whatever is left of the Serbian minority on Kosovo, that's predominantly Albanian population, uh, oppose what is otherwise not possible to oppose in any country. They don't want to use Kosovo license plates. And for that matter, they have proceeded to protest throughout the Kosovo, block the border between the Serbia and Kosovo. They created Serbs again. They created again war situation in the border with Kosovo. They are looking out, as you see right there, they're doing everything possible to steer a problem and enlarge one into a war. This is something I was worrying about for quite some time. It's getting more and more and more and more severe. Well, it's not their fault. You're gonna be surprised. And that's why I also think that the news they bombarded me with, they did so so that I would not pay attention to the news that you see right here. I think it was a joint operation. And that also includes European Union. Unfortunately, we're also going to be talking about European Union, not only about American politicians such as George Bush. Here's basically is why I think this is what it is. Croatia blocks Serbia. We're going to do it like this. And we're going to go custom range here. And I'm going to just go like this. And I'm going to put here 2014, 2016. What you have seen, Serbia have done to Kosovo. That's a transition point to Europe. They blocked, they literally blocked Kosovo people uh, from entry into Serbia. So that they cannot travel to the Serbia. That's a border point they blocked. They created a war zone out of border crossing. You understand what I'm saying? They are blocking Kosovo people a border crossing. That's what the fuck they're doing. If we go back to Croatia. Croatia did something like this. And you know why they did? The Serbs claim, well, they don't claim anything. They don't want to have a license plate. Kosovo, with the Kosovo on their cars, on their vehicles. They don't want that. They want their own Serbian license plates in another country. Because Kosovo is another state, another country is what it is. It's not a republic, it's a country, it's an independent country. That's the Albanian population, fair and square, that's what it is. But Serbs feel that they don't need to have license plates from that country. They feel that they have the right to use their own police, their own license plates, their own laws in another country and stuff like this. Well, you know, Serbs engaged in a major ethnic cleansing, in a genocide against three nations in late 90s. Actually, in 90s, it was not even in late 90s. Serbs launched the war at the same time against Kosovo people, therefore against Albanian people. They launched the war against Croatian people, against Slovenian people, and against Bosnian people. And of these four nations, the Serbs launched the war against in the name of the Yugoslav Federation, which was nothing other than Greater Serbian Chetnik State. They committed a genocide, ethnic cleansing, against no less than three nations, against the Croats, against the Bosnian people, and against the Kosovo people. Something they managed to get away with, thanks to the Buckingham Palace, to the royals, which pioneered for the Serbia in the name of Serbian dynasty known as Karadjordjevici. Karadjordjevici uh, were a Yugo, a Yugoslav, this is actually Serbian kings, dynasty, Serbs, which escaped 
to London during the World War II because it was own nation throughout Yugoslavia that rejected these people. And they rejected these people because these people signed pact with the Nazis of evil, with the axis of evil, with the Nazis. So they escaped to London and were hiding in London on what Buckingham Palace British Royals began to pioneer for them with hope to return to Serbia a kingdom. This is just a simple, simple, short why British felt so strong about Serbia. Uh, Kara Georgievich, Alexander, I don't know what his name is, served in a royal a Lancer, I don't know what that uh, regiment is, whatever it is. And so they became attached to the Serbian people for that matter. That's all there was. Not that they would have anything out of it. They had more damage than good. Um, There's a very, very anti-European country. It's the country that had a problem with Hungary, with Romania, with Bulgaria, with Macedonia. There's no fucking country in Europe Serbia would not have a problem with. They even had a problem with Slovenia. They dropped bombs from the airplanes. They entered streets, Slovenian streets, with the tanks, ran over cars, and committed themselves to ethnic cleansing genocide by announcing a meeting of a million Serbs in Ljubljana, in the capital of Slovenia, which Slovenia is a country of two million people only. So what's the problem with the Serbs again now? Well, except what I stated to you, Serbs committed after the war, which was which stopped in 99, 2000, they signed truce with a Bosnian, with a Croatian, with a Kosovo people. Uh, they committed economic genocide. They committed, Serbs committed economic ethnic cleansing in Bosnia and in Croatian parts of Bosnia. Um, let me explain a little bit better this stuff. Wherever there was, became what it was known as a Republika Srpska, and there was a minority, Croatian or Muslim, Bosnian minority, Serbs cut these people away economically through the enforcement of forced unemployment. And whatever remained as that was ethnically from the Croats or remained ethnically Croatian or Bosnian, and the Serbs had a possibility to block areas from those having a nexus to Croatia or to Europe through Croatia. Um, yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, Serbs made life for a lot of ethnic Croats, for a lot of ethnic Bosnian Muslim uh, religious people, the, the thing impossible. So Croatia decided in 2015, I think it was, they decided that, or 2016, they decided this bullshit is not going to be possible for the Serbia to enforce anymore. And so Croatia blocked six border crossings, actually in 2016. Road traffic halted between Serbia and Croatia. 2015, refugees squeezed through crack and Croatia border. Uh, enter Croatia from Serbia after Hungary blocks border. Refugees stuck. Croatia and Serbia migrant crisis. Croatia cro closes border crossing. Croatia had, um, in the mind of Croatia, was not really the migrants, the migrant crossing. It was not really the migrant crossing. No. Oh, let me see that stuff here. 
eight border crossing between Serbia having traffic from Serbia have already. Over the flow of migrants cross their border, stranded truck driver block last remaining open between them and this and that. Mm -hmm. Angry over influx of over its eastern border from Serbia, Croatia early Monday beard all cargo traffic. Cargo traffic they blocked from Serbia. Uh, Croatia blocked. Now this was about immigrants, this and that. Yeah, Croatia did put this under the immigrant issue. However, Croatia did not want to discuss what Croatia otherwise should discuss with the European Union. And those are the issues that I stated. I know so because I have friends from Bosnia and Croatian and Bosnia Muslim friends who told me exactly about what kind of procedures Serbs implemented. It was nothing since a truce that was signed in Bosnia with the Croatian and with the Bosnian side that Serbs have refrained itself from ethnic cleansing. Talking about the economic starvation of the people I mentioned. Nothing. Republika Srpska was the one that just went after, uh, you know, the, the problem is that Croatia became part of European Union. It became a European Union member state. And to utilize, to do something about it because of European Union is unwillingness to listen, to pay attention to Croatian needs and to needs of Bosnian, of Bosnians in Bosnia. They did this, you know, what can I say, through the so-called migrant crisis. They were trying to enforce these issues through the European Union, uh, creating an issues that would drag, by closing the border crossings, cargo economically would affect Serbia to the degree that Serbia would have to somehow make an agreement with Croatia through some other, uh, you know, that's a problem with a politic like this when it's not, when it's not clear politic, when it's everything rolling behind all this stuff. Now, the thing about it is there is a big difference between what you see here today and Kosovo is taking place, which I presented you earlier as the problem, and between what happened, and it was exactly the same thing, it was actually the same thing that happened in in 2015 with the border crossings between Croatia and Serbia. It was exactly identical, identical, identical stuff. Now, maybe Croatia did not know how to properly accent the problem, and the European Union was unwilling to assist Croatia in this issue. Um, I had no idea why they did it through this migrants crisis. But the thing about it is that Serbs, for the same crime, Croats were literally punished. Croats were very severely punished for this by European Union. And uh, European Union awarded Serbia with contracts, uh, with the jobs, with all kinds of businesses and uh, opportunities and so on because of this stuff. You possibly could not imagine, they punished Croatia most severely. Don't be mistaken, what Croatia tried to do in 2015 to the Serbia, Serbia is freely doing today to Kosovo. Now what's the best about this crime? from Belgrade against Pristina is that Serbs are actually even rewarded for crime. I did touch the subject of International Monetary Fund uh, which
they write very little about. They, in fact, they don't even write about one. There is nothing that's being written about. It's written in uh, small letters. We're going to have her. Okay. They don't mention this stuff anywhere. They don't. They don't like people to see. If you don't pay attention to it, you won't even get to see any of that. They write lies with the big letters and truth with small. You don't get to see the truth. But if you pay attention to this news I have published, you're going to see that <laughs> Serbia throughout this war against Russian war against Ukraine, which Serbia have supported loudly, clearly in the face of the world, was in fact heavily rewarded. You can see 5.1 billion package. Serbia is not a member of European Union. Yet it's European Union that is throwing the money away to Serbia. I have no fucking idea why. I have no idea why. For support for the genocide against a Russian genocide on Ukrainian people. What the fuck is the deal here with this stuff? For support because at the same time that they load them with the money, you can see what police is doing here. This people don't even want to have a license plate with. That's a Serbian police that is participating with the Kosovo police on Kosovo. They give chance Serbs to participate in law enforcement on Kosovo. But none of this stuff is good enough. And they continue to load through International Monetary Fund also with billions and billions and billions and billions of euros of Serbia, which, by the way, at the same time now is arming itself. And this one here is 1.3, that one was, I don't know, 2.4, the other one up there was 5 billion and so on, and they just fucking load and load and load and load and load the money. They will not have to work, all they have to do is create problems, and it appears to me like the money keeps coming in their hands. So that, so why? So that they keep this man here happy? You know, if we go back to George Bush and all that stuff, when I mentioned a little earlier, hmm, this shit to me is not funny anymore. In this case, in the case of Kosovo, in the case of new war situation on the Balkans that Serbs are again are creating, recreating, the same shit, it's the same thing. Serbia again gets awarded. European Union again went ahead and awarded Serbia with more money. I see that they loaded one with more money. So, in a way, I'm not surprised that they hit me with the news that you have seen. Because it's a really, really unpleasant news for me. News like that. It's a nasty news. But look at this shit here. European Union to grant Serbia another 500, 600 million euro. To overhaul Belgrade. The fuck is this? 13 hours ago. So you're paying what now the fuck? You're paying a non-European Union member state. You're loading one with the money like no other European Union state. So why you're doing this? To keep a friend of George Bush? That's Vladimir Putin happy, smiling? What the fuck is this all about? I'm asking European Union officials. What is this shit about? What are you doing? What kind of politic is this? This is not European politic. What kind of politic are you running? What is going on here with this stuff? And when are you planning on giving sufficient support to Ukraine so they can overthrow the Russian enemy from within? I mean, it's a continent that is under attack. People are facing crisis throughout the European Union, throughout the entire Europe. And the longer, the more tall this war is going to take, the harder the situation will get. So, if I might ask you, where the hell is this whole thing going? Because it beca it's becoming more and more evident that you're actually throwing gold on a table. For the sake of Russia, for the sake of Serbia, for the sake of more war. If you have too much money, 
give it to your German pensioners, give it to your British pensioners, make sure that they do not starve this winter, make sure they don't freeze this winter, make sure they are not malnourished, and in the summertime they don't choke with a heat wave. If you have, if you got so much money, I'm sure that you can do something for your pensioners that will be actually productive for every European Union citizen. Because your politics right now, the way this looks like, it doesn't look European. It looks like very, very anti-European. It's, it looks like you are eating yourself from within. And this is not the only good news for Serbia, by the way, when it comes to money. You can see another one here. Serbia adopts energy support, this and that, blah, 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 blah. And it's going to go out to what the fuck, a 165 million euros more from European Union funds. So what the fuck is this all about? What kind of politic do we have, Mr. Vladimir Putin politic here in Europe? Who is the Vladimir Putin? Is This is like a Tsar, a king of the Europe, a king of the world. You know... The bureaucrats in Strasbourg, especially where the European Court for Human Rights is located because of whom I've lost 28 years of my life on torture, directly involved in torture. And those parliamentarians over there located in Brussels, they are sad to make me nervous based on what I see. Because based on what I see, I only have one thing left. After 28 years of MK Ultra torture, exercise through the forced unemployment, which goes into the category of economic genocides, supported by the field of psychiatry, I got to say, you might not admit Holodomor as legitimate form of genocide, extermination, but it appears to me more and more and more that you, in fact, you yourself are involved in one. For the sake of your global issues, you have created together with Vladimir Putin. Thanks for watching this video. I ain't got nothing else to say. She was involved in MK Ultra. They didn't have any other picture they wanted to post. They had to post her, I suppose. Here's the date and time to make it look uh, more pleasant, more acceptable. I don't know. Is there really so many mentally ill people inside of the European Union that just need news like this to get by? Or what the fuck is the necessity to to push down our, our throats issues like this? Because... I think they find it hard to make the news like this possible. So I think that that's why probably they award more people that are willing to betray, people that are willing to betray their own people. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.